Hey guys, Cybel here, and uh, in the last video I put up, I was talking about cassette degradation, how I use it in my music, and one of the things I brought up was generation loss, and conveniently enough, the song I'm doing right now is doing generation loss on cassette. So I figured instead of just doing it in the background and putting the song out, why don't I just record it so I can show you guys what generation loss sounds like. So I'm doing exactly that. I'm going to be going through the process on here. Uh, probably just going to speed it right up in the video because it takes a while. So uh, enjoy. In case you're wondering what the original recording sounded like, it sounded a little bit like this. <laughs> And I've already gone through my first generation of degradation loss with this tape, and it's actually coming out really good right out of the gates. So I'm going to continue degrading this tape, but this is what that first generation sounds like. From this point on, I'm just going to start plowing through. Alright, so that was the oh-so-thrilling, very time-consuming process of doing uh, degradation through generation loss. A very old-school way of doing it. So here's the final sound that it came out with, both the, what we'll call hi-fi, the higher tone and the lower tone versions of it. So that was my process for doing generation loss on cassette, uh, bouncing between the two tape decks that I have. Uh, I'm going to play back for you the recordings that I had in order from the first generation of re-recording all the way down to the final one, which I'm probably going to stick with the final one. Now, I wouldn't be leaving this video without giving you some context for why I'm doing this recording itself. It all started with a guitar arpeggio, and this is where it fits in in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> 